All right, so it's gonna be a quick tutorial on GitHub, how to fork and uh, pull requests. So I have my folder here. I basically just uh, named the folder the same as the repo. And uh, so I opened that up in my ID. Um, I created this folder because that's my ID, my ID, ID that I'm using does that to create this folder, whatever. Um, Anyways, what I'm gonna do is go find the repo I want, okay? So let's see, uh, if I go to uh, my profile, so let's say you have the profile, and then I'm gonna go here, uh, uh, the organization, then I wanna find this repo, just any repo over this repo, I'm not picking, I don't think there's nothing in it. So I'm gonna use this one. And um, so there we go. See fork. That's what I want to do. I want to fork this, and it's basically just gonna um, fork this over to my account. So that's what I want to do there. And then I'm gonna choose me because that's where I want to fork it. Okay, so forking, and this goes for any. Um, uh, repository on Gale, so, um, but that's what I'm going to do, um, alright, so now I got it for it, should give me a uh, six cloud clone or down download, um, and I'm going to copy this right here, okay, that should be copied, um, now I'll just open up a terminal, um, CD here, so that's why I make sure it's the same name because it's going to go right into uh, this folder here. So, my project. So, I'm just going to um, git uh, clone and then um, okay. Uh, oh, okay, it's not empty. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a problem. Whatever. <laughs> okay, it's all good now. So, what do I want to do now? Alright, so I cloned that repository. Basically, it's like a readme file. I have to go add a file. Uh, I don't really want to mess with anything else. I'm just going to do a test file here. Uh, HTML. Uh, yeah, test. Test. Fork. Demo. Good. Um, so it's added automatic. You want to commit and push that. So um, just use your ID or whatever you like, however you like to do it. Um, go to repo. Uh, I'm going to commit file. Now this lets me commit and uh, push. So my testing fork. So this lets me do both and then push. So I'm do that. It's, um, it's gonna push right to my account. You can change this if you want to. Okay. Uh, but wherever you cloned it from, from your fork, it should, should be all set up with that. Um, you should have the uh, Git and uh, everything already set up for you. So uh, push successful. I should be all set with that. Um, so I'll go check out my account. Uh, so this is mine here. So it's my version. As you can see, fork. And uh, so now I can do a pull request. Um, wait a minute. I want to make sure my file is here. So there we go. My testing demo file is there. Look at it and stuff. Um, then uh, I can do a uh, pull request. So that's basically what I want to do. Um, so this is the one you want. Um, just hit pull request, no pull request. And then I say we'll uh, send it over so it can, uh, well, we'll do a check there, I guess. Um, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, 
create pull request. So this is you know your last chance if you want to check it. Um, and uh, if you remember something else you want to add or whatever, uh, but you can do a create pull request and uh, just leave a comment. Um, um, and uh, create pull request. So that's that. Yeah, so it creates that um, in a way that's what you want to see. So they're basically going to check it and make sure there's no problems. Um, and you can close it yourself. You can decide if you want to close it. You just want to add something else. You can close it and then uh, do another one after. Um, but you can go back and forth. Uh, you know, if he says that, you know, something wrong with this code or there was problems or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, so, you know, we'll get the code with you and then they can accept the code. Um, or whatever. Uh, that's it. That's what you gotta do. All right. Well, hopefully that um, helps out. Thanks for watching.